A super smart society that brings prosperity to people's daily lives is Society 5.0. Hitachi U Tokyo Lab has set the goal of realizing Society 5.0, which aims to transform cities through people's houses, offering comfortable, energetic, and high quality lives. In doing so, we have been promoting the Habitat Innovation Project. Many advanced technologies are used in smart cities. However, all kinds of issues have emerged, such as the gap between technologies and the needs of citizens, how data can be used effectively, and how to go about gaining acceptance for such technologies within local communities. データ連携基盤ですね、なかなかあのそこのですねエコシステムが形成できてないというのがあの日本の現状だと思っておりますスマートシティっていう専門領域を確立していくことと、プロフェッションを育てていくということと、同時並行でやっていかなくちゃいけなくて。To build and operate sustainable smart cities, conventional technological perspectives are not enough. Local communities, data utilization, and sustainable mechanisms for both users and operators are the six key factors that we must focus on. So let's take a look at the initiatives being implemented by Hitachi U Tokyo Lab that aim to realize people centric, sustainable smart cities through interaction between the various key factors. Now, Hitachi U Tokyo Lab is conducting research on city images in the age of society 5.0. So, when you come to the cyber world, you can see that the cyber world is a little bit more than the cyber world. The cyber world is a little bit more than the Society has evolved from 1.0 to 4.0, and the philosophy of cities has changed accordingly. Society 5.0 is a human centered society that balances economic advancement with the resolution of social problems by a system that highly integrates cyberspace and physical space. We advocate urban well being as the philosophy of smart cities in Society 5.0. Urban well being is a concept that means a city being in a good and fulfilling state. It consists of four dimensions of well being. The philosophy of urban well being is applicable to cities all over the world. Let us take Tokyo as an example, the largest mega city in the world. Tokyo has developed into a mega city while experiencing large scale natural disasters and the war. Its growth is attributed to geographical, structural, methodological, And cultural factors. However, Tokyo faces a variety of challenges, including excessive commuting times, dilution of the community, rush hour traffic congestions, and environmental burdens. The urban structure must be restructured to address these issues. Tokyo has been working on restructuring from a monopole centralized structure to a polycentric network structure. We propose a polycyclic structure consisting of a core circulation of the Yamanote line and a middle circulation of the surrounding areas. Around the Yamanote line, middle scapes will be designed as new urban planning units and also as innovation clusters where people can live and work in close proximity. This will be formed by combining several different urban functions in an area of three to five kilometer in diameter. And connecting them by a network of public transportation. In this way, the megacity Tokyo will be composed of diverse innovation clusters. This is our vision of urban well being for Tokyo 2030 by digital and design together. We're developing an urban well being for megacity concept. Merging digital tech with urban space to enhance citizen lives and value for its inhabitants. The key topics include connecting the cyber and physical worlds, creating a diverse information infrastructure known as data space, incorporating AI and establishing interactive systems and digital communities to bridge cities and people. It also emphasizes the idea of slow digital to lead a more fulfilling life. By adopting these concepts, 
we aim to move beyond the mere physical aspects of urban spaces and functionalities. Now, we'd like to introduce two examples of future interactive systems envisioned within the smart megacity that bridge the cyber and physical realms. We are working on the Scale City project, which integrates physical maps and digital maps. This project has been made possible by Japan's development and release of a 3D city model named Plateau, which corresponds to the real world. The digital map can display various city data such as bus locations and people flow. We believe that by using the Scale City, citizens will gain a deeper understanding of their city, fostering improved communication, which in turn will contribute to the urban well-being of communities. The Happiness Finder merges digital tech with a four-leaf clover symbol, echoing the Nordic Hugue concept of cozy comfort. In our Smart City project, we focus on revealing small joys to offer city dwellers moments of relaxation and well-being. Use your phone's camera to find a four-leaf clover. While spotting one with the human eye can be challenging, machine learning and computer vision make it easy to spot one. By collaborating with machines and seeking out the small joys in the city on our own, our hearts and minds will likely become more enriched we, Hitachi Utokyo Lab, are on a relentless quest to lead a new era of urban well-being for Megacity.